Today we're taking a look at these college football matches, which are happening on Monday, December 26, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes. Before we dive into our video, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. Also, check out our perks and join the High Stakes membership. Joining the High Stakes membership is easy, is cheap, but it will help a lot in the growth process of this channel. Plus check out our Patreon in the link down below if you want access for our premium picks. Our Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting predictions that ends up costing you a lot of time and money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation, so make sure to watch our videos till the end, so you don't miss any of our picks. One more thing before we start, check out our new channel High Stakes Props and Parlays, where you can find our player props and parlay picks predictions, you will find the link in the description and comments section below. New Mexico State Aggies vs Bowling Green Falcons. The New Mexico State Aggies head into this game 6-6 this year. The last time they took the field, the Aggies stepped onto the field against the Valparaiso Beacons and walked away with a win by a score of 65-3. Diego Pavia connected on 9 13 with 323 yards passing and 4 TDs. He had a QB rating of 379.5 and ended the game with no picks. Amont Watkins was the rushing leader for the Aggies with one totes for 78 yards, 78.0 yards per carry. In all, they had 52 plays which gave them 621 yards. The New Mexico State Aggies ran the ball 28 different times and recorded 232 yards, earning them an average of 8.3 yards per carry. Against the rush, the Aggies gave up 28 yards on 35 attempts, which averages out to 0.8 yards per rush surrendered. New Mexico State relinquished 21 pass completions on 43 tries, for a total of 160 yards, and a completion percentage of 48.8%. The Aggies have racked up 3,892 total yards this year. When it comes to notching touchdowns, New Mexico State has amassed 16 touchdowns via the pass and 24 touchdowns on the ground. They have surrendered the ball 18 different times. New Mexico State has accumulated 196 first downs, and they have been hurt by 77 infractions for 682 yards. As a unit they hold an average of 154.9 yards on the ground, ranking them 66th in college football. In terms of putting points on the board, the New Mexico State Aggies have an average of 25.6 ppg. For the year, the Aggies are 120th in the nation in passing offense, with 169.3 yards per game, while they are 66th in rushing offense, with 155.5 yards per contest. New Mexico State stands 81st in the FBS in scoring offense, as they put up an average of 25.6 points per game, while they are 53rd in scoring defense, by allowing 24.3 points per contest. Gavin Frakes is 55 of 110 passing for 736 yards, with 4 touchdowns and 7 interceptions, along with 143 rushing yards plus 2 scores. Diego Pavia is 84 of 161 for 1,236 yards, with 11 touchdowns against 5 interceptions, while adding 443 yards and 6 scores on the ground. They have given up 183.7 yards per game via the pass, and giving up a completion percentage of 58.6%. In total, they are giving up 339.5 yards game, which has them ranked 30th in the country. They have yielded 13 touchdowns via the pass, in addition to 22 touchdowns pounding the rock. Opposing teams are running for an average of 3.9 yards per attempt on the ground, and 155.8 rushing yards per contest for the year. In total, they have allowed 1,870 yards on the ground through 12 games. The Aggies sit in 52nd in college football when it comes to the opposition scoring, allowing 24.3 points per contest. Both teams started the year slow before rebounding in the second half of the year to reach bowl eligibility this season. This marks the first bowl game for New Mexico State since 2017, while Bowling Green is bowling for the first time since 2015. 
New Mexico State has the edge when it comes to the defensive side of the ball, but both offenses have had issues with turning the ball over. Bowling Green committed 21 turnovers this season, while forcing 22 takeaways, while New Mexico State committed 18 turnovers, while forcing just 12. There weren't many players entering the transfer portal on either side, so that shouldn't be much of a factor. At the end of the day, Bowling Green has a better quarterback and the experience factor going for them. Take the Falcons in this contest as they earn the win. Our first pick is Bowling Green Falcons minus 3.5 points. The Falcons come into this game with a record of 6-6 this year. When they last played, the Falcons took a loss by a final score of 38-14 when they played the Ohio Bobcats. Matt McDonald, one touchdown, walked away from the contest with 217 yards on 16-29 passing, while his QB rate was 108.7. He tossed three picks, and his YA was 7.5. Nick Mosley carried the rock four times for 29 yards, walking away from the game with 7.3 yards per attempt for Bowling Green. The Falcons finished the game with a total of 279 yards, and they ran 53 plays, 5.3 yards per play. Bowling Green rushed for 2.4 yards per attempt, finishing with 50 yards on 21 carries. Bowling Green conceded 54 running attempts for 188 yards, 3.5 yards per rush. The Falcons' secondary conceded a completion rate of 47.6%, surrendering 196 yards on 10 for 21 passing. Regarding this team's ability to score points, the Falcons are ranking 97th in D1, holding an average of 23.8 points per game. During the season thus far, the Falcons have compiled 2,842 yards through the air, along with an average of 236.8 passing yards per outing, which ranks 59th in college football. The Bowling Green Falcons are averaging 336.3 yards game, ranking them 106th in Division I. The Bowling Green offense has racked up 870 penalty yards on 97 violations, ranking them 6th in the country in terms of hurting your team. On the season, the Falcons are 59th in passing offense as they average 236.8 yards per game through the air, while they are 121st in rushing offense, with an average of 100.8 yards per contest. Bowling Green is a dismal 97th in the FBS in scoring offense, with 23.8 points per game, while they are 116th in scoring defense, by allowing 33.2 points per contest. Matt McDonald has completed 230 of 375 passes for 2,639 yards, with 22 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. Camden Orth is 20 of 35 passing for 187 yards with 2 touchdowns and 2 interceptions on the books. The run game has been abysmal with Jamal Johnson ranking second on the team with 51 carries for 235 yards plus 2 scores. Jason Patterson, 129 carries, team high 560 yards, 2 TD, Taron Keith, 41 carries, 187 yards TD, and Nick Mosley, 23 carries, 92 yards, have also seen action. In the passing game, Adu Hillier leads the team with 54 receptions for 704 yards, plus 6 scores this season. Tight end Christian Sims, 41 catches, 402 yards, 2 TD, Tyrone Broden, 30 grabs, 473 yards, 6 TD, and CJ Lewis, 26 catches, 352 yards, 2 TD, have all cracked the 300-yard mark in receiving yards on the year. Mason Lawler has hit all 32 extra point attempts and 10 of 13 field goal attempts, with a long of 45 this season. The Falcons are conceding 33.3 ppg, which puts them 116th in Division 1. Bowling Green has allowed a total of 1,956 rushing yards, 163.0 yards per game, and 22 touchdowns, by way of the ground game this year. Overall, they have allowed 400 points in total. They have conceded 28 touchdowns from the passing game, as well as 257.7 yards contest, which has them in 102nd in the nation. The Falcons' defense has been on the field for 868 plays, which is 104th in the country. These offenses have been doing very well as of late, as the Aggies are scoring 44.8 points in their previous four games, while the Falcons are averaging 21.8 points in their last five games heading into this game. Both Pavia and McDonald are going to have excellent games throwing the football, as both defenses are going to have a hard time keeping points off of the board. 
these defenses have not been able to stop the running game, as New Mexico State is allowing 155.8 rushing yards per game, while Bowling Green is giving up 163 rushing yards per game as well. With the extended layoff, these offenses should have the advantage with the defense getting a little rusty. The over has hit in each of the last four Aggies games, as well as in the Falcons' last four non-conference games. Our second pick is to go with over 48.5 points in this game as well.